Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today is a project pan video. I'm absolutely dreading this video. I've been putting it off for about a month, <laughs> uh, trying to decide if I want to commit to this or just like don't even bother. But I have gathered some products here that I think I could, you know, use some more and I thought I would share them with you. Now the goal for me is not necessarily to go through the whole product. The goal is to use up the product that I have that maybe is very expensive or starting to be a little bit too old or just get more use out of the product that I have. I'm going to talk about each product and kind of what my goal is for that product. I did mention in one of my videos that I was kind of thinking of doing this and I had such a vast majority of you guys saying that you want to see a project pin video from me and here it is. So grab yourself something to drink. I have here my coffee and it looks nasty now, but it looked so fabulous before. I even have a snack. I have these, what is this, keto bar from Costco. And let's talk about makeup. I only picked one primer and that is this one from Hourglass. And I try to keep them straight as much as possible. And like this morning I flipped to the box where I had them all lined up and like all the product kind of I don't know, got messed up. So I'm trying to see how to do this. I'm learning guys. So that's kind of where the product is right here. Now, if you guys don't know, I'm slightly obsessed with my Tom Ford primer. The only thing is I don't know how much I have left of this one. So it's kind of hard to gauge, um, but this is super like blurring, mattifying, and I love it. But I really like this one as well and it's not cheap. So I thought I would include it here my goal is not to use it up. My goal is to just maybe get down to here. Is that reasonable? I am really bad at gauging quantities or like if you ask me how many people are in this room, they could be 200 or 1000. I wouldn't know. I'm really bad at that. Uh, so for me, I'm, I'm trying to guess that this could be a good amount, but um, you guys let me know if I'm being foolish. Okay, next product is this from Lisa Eldridge. This is the Seamless Skin, the highlighter in Cosmic Rose. Oh, I flipped it over. So the product, if you can see, it's kind of right there. I feel like I've used it a lot. It's one of my favorite products from her, and I feel like I can use this up quite a bit when you take the product out is this big old applicator. The way I use this is as a highlighter and also mixed in with foundation or underneath. It's less, guys, it's less. See, see where it's at? Right down there. I just flipped it over. Anyway, uh, I'm hoping to maybe get through half of this. I don't need it to go all the way down, but that is a goal I have. And I kind of feel positive about this because I use this quite a bit, but Again, you don't need a lot, you just need a dot. So we'll see about that. Now I picked three foundations. However, they all do a little bit of a different thing and they've all been kind of used. I am letting this one go down because I flipped it and it still hasn't gone down, but it's about here, it's about here. This is the Kojendo Aqua Foundation. It is one of my favorite foundations. I've had it for years. I'm very confident that I can finish this up. Like that's not that much. And uh, I love this foundation. It's a very beautiful everyday foundation and I, I can see it being used up quickly. Um, another one is this from Chanel. This is the uh, Le Beige Water Fresh Tint. I mean, it's very easy to gauge how much I have of this one. Um, it's obviously about that much has been used. If you'll focus, there we go. Um, and I don't think I'm gonna go through all of it, but maybe half of it, I feel I would feel confident. I test so many products, so for me to say half, it may not seem a lot for you guys, but for me, it's a lot. It'll take me forever to go through any foundation. And the last one is this Cali Ray Free Dreaming Skin Wellness Diffusing Tint. Now, it's hard to gauge with this one how much I have left, but I have used this all summer long and this is my go-to summer tint fresh tint this one and the summer friday but um i think i'm gonna go through all of this because i i've used it all summer long and i really think oops i just 
got it everywhere on my jeans as well. I know I'm not wearing sweatpants. With this occasion, I am going to clean up the top of it as well. So yeah, I think I'm gonna go through this. I, I wanna say I'm kind of halfway down because I have used it so much and it's very watery. It's kind of a very easy product to use. Even on a no makeup day, you could put this just to even out your skin and um, it'll look beautiful. Okay, moving on. I have two powders. Wait, do I? Yes, I have two powders. Um, they're right here. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish and I'm kind of cheating with this because this is almost gone, but I thought, you know, I need something to go right. So I feel like this one I can finish up without a problem. Obviously I'm almost out of it, but um, this would be very satisfying to say that I went through at least one product in a year. So yes, this, it speaks for itself. I love it. And the packaging is kind of ripped. I will probably repurchase this when I'm done with it. So I feel like that's kind of cheating, but I have a couple of those here. And then I have this Makeup Forever. This is my favorite powder, period. Um, and it's kind of hard to gauge how much I have of this because look, on one side, it's really flat. And then on this side, it's kind of full. So... I'm trying to make it flat, but it won't it won't obey me. But I really think that I can go through this. It's a smaller uh, package. It's not their big original one. And guys, I've had this for such a long time and I use it all the time and I still have so much. So if you're interested in this, which you should because it's such a great powder, uh, get a small one, you know, because you probably won't go through it. What if I do this way, backwards, like upside down? Yeah, I would say that I have less than half of this in here because this side is completely flat. Anyway, I am so bad at this. I feel like I am trying to learn how Project Pan works. I'm just winging it. I have here two concealers. One is a corrector. This is the Charlotte Tilbury corrector in number two. Look. <laughs> This packaging is absolutely destroyed. It used to be gold, right? It's silver now because it's all rubbed off. But um, I feel like I have a pretty good dent in this. Let's see if you can see it on camera, hopefully. Um, and I I would just want to hit paint on this. I don't need to use it all up. I just want to hit paint on this. Hopefully that showed you just how much product I have. I feel like I will be able to achieve that. I don't think I'm going to go through this, um, but that is a goal. And then this is a risky move, but I put the new Tom Ford concealer in here. This is in the shade 2N. And the reason I put this in here, because I love it so much for an everyday concealer. I'm wearing it today. And it's a very expensive. I want to get my money's worth. And because it's cream, like, that's all I have. I mean, I'm sure I'm going to be able to dig out quite a bit. But I really want to push myself to use this a lot. Because I really like it. And it's a beautiful, easy concealer every day. Right now, if it's all the way down, this is how much I have left. I've actually been using it almost every day since I bought it. Because I love it. I don't know if I'm going to use it all up. But I do want to see a good dent in that. The next product, I also feel like I'm cheating. Because I don't see myself not using this up. This is a Makeup by Mario Skin Enhancer. And as you can see, I've hit paint on this. And I feel like I'm going to go through this quite quickly. Um, the second you hit pan all the product around, it's going to be much faster. I am very confident that I'm going to go through this and I know I'm going to pick up another one because it is my go-to. I kind of feel like since discovering this product, everything compares to this one. Is it as a natural as my enhancer from Makeup Forever? Is it as daily friendly? It is. I just love this product so much. I don't know if you have oily skin, if this is going to be your best friend. Prefer us that are more like dry skin. It is absolutely gorgeous. Okay, I do have another product that I'm not planning on going through it, but I'm planning to hit pan, and that is the Tom Ford Shade and Illuminate. I have a huge dent in this one, and I have a feeling that I will hit pan 
is this helping at all? <laughs> I'm going to have to edit this and be like, what were you thinking? They can't see a thing. Um, but yeah, the, I'm only concerned about this. I'm not concerned about the highlighter. Uh, although I have a dent in the highlighter as well. See there? But this, I want to hit pan and... I love this product so much and I really think I will. I use it a lot. However, a little goes such a long way that I literally just dab my brush a little bit in and I do my whole face. So that's why I've had this for quite a bit. My goal is to use it up before it goes bad or it's expired. Um, I've gone through a lot of these a lot. I mean like three. This is my third one. And every time it took me forever to hit pin and go through it. Now I am being extra brave and I'm including a blush. I went through all my blushes and I kind of tried to decide which one would I not get bored of. Um, there was no way I was going to put a powder blush because I know myself I will never go through that. I was thinking of the Gucci blushes because I love them so much, but there's no way I could go through that or even hit pan. So I decided to put a product that's new to me and this is even braver because I haven't used it for a long time, but this is the cream blush from Armani. I love this color. I love this product. I love the way it goes on the cheeks. To me, this is such a versatile product and that's the color right there. I talked about this in my, I think my last video. The reason I chose this one because the color looks like it would be a bronzer, but to me it has a little bit of that kind of cool rosiness in it that makes it like such a beautiful um, blush. And I don't think you get a lot in here. Uh, 3.5 grams, that is not a lot. Let's see how much you get in a different one. In the Tower 28 Power Blushes, you get 4.5 grams. So, you know, a whole gram less. I, and I think this isn't as pigmented as the Tower 28. So you, I'm going to use this a little bit more. The t Tower 28, I need a dot. And then it, I was never going to put that one because it takes me a long time to use up. But I have a feeling that, you know, I can get a lot of use out of this. I don't think I'm going to hit pan. I don't think so, but I ho I'm hoping for a dent. Now for a powder bronzer, I've added this one in here. This is the Tom Ford Glow Bronzer in Terra. I am not expecting to hit paint on this one whatsoever. I cleaned it up. It was super messy, but for this video, I cleaned it up. I am just, I just want to use this. I don't think I'm going to hit paint because I have a lot of powder bronzers that I like, but I paid so much money for this. It is absolutely gorgeous and I just want to get more use out of it. It's a beautiful, I'm going to put a little bit on. It's a beautiful, slightly more pinky bronzer it's not super warm it gives such a beautiful almost glowy effect and i think i think see how pretty that is i think i can get a little bit more use out of this one and be intentional to use it because it is an absolutely gorgeous bronzer it was between this one and the westman atelier one the powder one from westman atelier but um I chose this one because <laughs> I had it longer and I want to get more use out of it. And I think it always makes my face look so nice. You can even contour a little bit with this one because of the color. I just, I love this product so much and I want to get more use out of it. I have two highlighters in here. The first one is this one from Dior. This is the Backstage Glow Face Palette in two glitz. Now I am not interested in hitting pan on all of them only on this one which i think i will this is the peach one my favorite powder highlighter that ever existed i cannot find a highlighter that i like more than this one that's powder um the the dent i think it's quite deep i don't know how you how much you can tell but i've used this side mainly a lot and i really think that i can you know, get close to hitting pan or maybe even hitting pan um, by next e year because it's one of those highlighters that it's not too intense. You can wear it even with intense makeup, with soft makeup. It is so beautiful. It is absolutely stunning. Um, I use this pink one a lot as well. This one the least out of all of them because it has a little bit of that 
green color but if i want to amp up my highlighter i'll add a little bit of mixture of these two but my goal is to uh use up the peach one or like hit pan on the peach one and i'm not very confident that i will but i will do my best and then the other highlighter is my baby my westman atelier pot de pêche this is my most used highlighter and i do think i'm gonna hit pan on this one um, because of the cream texture, I feel like you go through it quicker than a regular highlighter. Um, I already have quite a, big of, a bit of a dent right there. I kind of think I will, I will hit paint. Oh, look at that. Uh, I cannot tell you how much I love this um, highlighter. Let's put it on. I am going to have like 200 highlighters on today. <laughs> Oh, every look I do, the second I put this on, it's like everything comes together. Absolutely gorgeous. And don't be scared of the color. I was so scared of the color in the beginning. It's beautiful. It's gorgeous. So with this one, I'm confident I will hit pan. I don't think I'm going to use it up, but I'm confident that I will hit pan. I have five lip products here. Um, I'm going to start with the lip liners. I decided to put my Victoria Beckham lip liner in the color two. This is one of my go-to lip liners. It's the one I'm wearing today. It's more deeper than my lips. It's this one right here. Um, but it's it's wearable. It's an everyday lip liner. It stays on so, so well. I felt like I should use this one a little bit more. I'll show you like this compared to my hand. Let's do that. That's how much I have left. So we'll see how much use out I get out of this one. I do feel confident that I'll go through maybe half of this. I don't think I'm going to use it all because I have an obsession with lip products and lip liners, mainly lip liners, but I do want to get more use out of that one because it's so beautiful and it stays on so well. Another one is my Refi. Uh, I was debating between the color taupe and rosewood, but I've been using taupe for longer and I kind of feel like I have more of a chance <laughs> to use this one up. That's how much I have left. That is how much I have left from Taupe. And I really do think that I'm gonna use this up completely. Um, I love this color so, so much. I'll swatch it next to the Victoria Beckham. It's right here. It's a little bit more of a brown. They look similar on the hand, but on the lips, this one pulls much more warm on me, almost like that 90s vibe. And I love this product so much. I've used it, I remember all summer long, I was really into this product. So I'm confident that this one I will use up completely. And then I have three lip products here. I've realized that I don't go through lip products at all. <laughs> like I have so many and I buy so many lip products, lip balms, lip glosses, lipsticks, lip liquid lipsticks. I love lip products that and skin like foundations are just my weakness so the three i picked is this one from chanel this is their i never know the name of this it's in the color timeless beige but i don't know the actual name of this you guys will let no le, le rouge duo ultra tenu gloss so the color i have is a beautiful a little bit more of a brownie warm color it's stunning and these last all day long i have not found a better formula for an all day kind of liquid lipstick this is it this is gorgeous i don't know if i'm gonna go through all, all of it i have i mean it's hard to tell but i've used this quite a bit and i've had it for a while so i do want to get a lot more use out of this one if i use it up kudos to me. If I don't, I'll try my best to get more use out of it because it's so beautiful. And it's one of those products that I always want to use because it's beautiful, but I reach for something newer and better apparently. The other one I want to use up is this Westman Atelier lip gloss in the color Nunu. I love this product so, so much. And I want to use it because this is clean and it'll go bad quicker. I love the color. Let's put a little bit on right now. Oh, it just makes every lip product look so much better. 
it's so pretty, like transform my lips. Um, I feel like I've used this a lot in the summertime and it's hard to gauge how much I have left. Even though you have this, I don't think it's very accurate. Wait, I don't even know if that's the actual lip gloss or it's just showing the color. <laughs> Interesting, Woo, I dropped it. Um, I'm, I had my second coffee or almost all of it and I feel like I'm shaky a little bit, but I think I'm gonna completely use this up. I have hopes um, or at least use it up until it goes bad but I love this product it is a very glossy um, and kind of nourishing like every time I wear this one my lips feel good all day long and it lasts a, quite a bit and then the last product is this Dior one this is the Dior addict in the color 329 uh, this is how much I have left of this one if you'll focus uh, I have a lot <laughs> I have not used this. And the reason I wanted to include this, that's how much I have left, um, is because I love this. I love this so much, but I just need to put it in my purse and use it. The color is a more of a pinky color and it has like shift in it. See, tiny, tiny, I wouldn't call them glitter, but shimmer in them. Uh, and I love the way this looks on my lips. I feel like it brings my whole whole look it just gives a little bit of life and I think it's going to be beautiful um so I wanted to put this in here to get more use out of it not necessarily use it up but I do want to see see it used because it's so beautiful I have three colors of these and um they're all gorgeous I was debating putting the 100 which is like their more neutral color but honestly out of all of them this one is beautiful on me and I have more of a peachy one 331 and this one was also a contender because it's you know summer's coming oh that's so pretty maybe I should have put that one I don't know I'll, I'll, I'll stick to my pink one um but I just need to get more use out of these ones they are expensive but they're gorgeous and they feel so nice. They're easy to apply. You don't need a mirror. You just put it on and your whole look comes together. So in total, I have 20 products here. I kind of feel like that's a lot, but I don't know. Uh, I don't go through products fast and I already know that, but I think this will be a wake up call to really realize how long a product can last mostly lip products for me those i never go through foundations concealers powders those i go through a lot more often but highlighters blushes even bronzers that takes me a long time to use up so i hope you guys enjoyed this video leave me your thoughts down below and i will see you in my next video bye